Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Understanding Healthcare here at Can TV. I'm Steve Nikotopoulos, a staff member here, and we're going to talk for the next 25 minutes about healthcare and how do you sign up for it, what your options are. Over uh, over this period, feel free to call in. The number is on the screen in front of you here, 312-738-1060. And Sylvia is here with us today to answer your phone calls, so be sure to call in within the next 25 minutes as soon as possible if you have any questions. We're joined today by John Gorman. John, thank you for being here. Thanks so much for having me. It's actually sure. Brian Gorman. Oh, I'm sorry. Brian it's Gorman. Okay. Excuse me. Yes, I know a John <laughs> Gorman. I got confused. Okay, here we go. It's actually written out for me. Brian Gorman, Director of Outreach for Get Covered Illinois, Office of the Governor. And Brian, tell me today, real quick, uh, how are things going? I, it must be an exciting time. How many days left do people have to sign up for everything? Well, Steve, thank you so much for having me. There are uh, five days left to enroll. I know that there's been a lot of discussion over the last four years and the last six months of open enrollment. We are finally mm -hmm. at that point where those folks who do not have coverage uh, really need to start taking action. There are a little more than five days uh, left until... 11 o'clock on um, March 31st. So we're asking everybody, uh, if you don't have coverage, uh, make sure you talk to a free navigator in your community. Uh, go to our website, getcoveredillinois.gov, uh, and take that first step uh, for enrollment. It's vitally important that people take action today. And I'm going to show this throughout the show. This is the website you just mentioned, getcoveredillinois.gov. And of course, if you have questions, where you want to talk to a navigator or even set up a time to meet a navigator in your neighborhood, everything can be focused on that one phone number on the screen right there, 866-311-1119. Now, this phone number, there is going to be some extended hours because we only have five days left. Um, so tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, there's been some talk in the news. Uh, March 31st is still the date, so we're talking Monday night. Mm-hmm. Um, what is going on with the amount of time people have to try to get health care before the period runs out? Sir, so we do know that, that people still have a lot of questions. Uh, those that have never had health care coverage before are looking for some form of assistance. What do I need to know? What are the processes? What am I eligible for? So the first thing that everybody at home needs to understand is that, one, uh, that there is free assistance available to you. We have extended hours uh, over the next five days, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. You can speak with a navigator up to midnight each of those nights. So uh, if you have questions, you can go to our website site, find a navigator, find those extended hours. And those navigators, again, will walk you through what your options are, what you may be eligible for, for affordability, uh, and let you work you through the process of selecting a qualified health care plan. So uh, people feel like they're confused and unsure. It's understandable, but also people need to understand that there is help available to you uh, to walk you through that process. Uh, secondarily, if you have a question and you want to talk to one of our, uh, our Illinois Help Desk uh, counselors, we've extended the hours uh, through 10 o'clock through tomorrow night, but also open till midnight, again, on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And as, as Steve mentioned, that number again is 866 311 one 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 nine. Uh, talk to a live person in Spanish and English. You can find enrollment opportunities in your area, but you can also uh, get some information about where to find an assister or some of those basic elements as well. Okay. So no matter what you're reading, no matter what you see in the news, March 31st is the date to pay attention to. That's this Monday, Monday night. So that is the end of everything. So you want to make sure that you're part of the process before March 31st, 2014. Now, this, of course, doesn't apply to anybody who gets health care coverage through their jobs or who might already be signed up for Medicare or Medicaid. Can you talk just a little bit about what what part of the population we're focusing this on? Sure. So we're, we're focusing on those individuals who don't currently have quality, affordable, uh, uh, quality employer-based coverage. So if you're getting health care coverage through your employer uh, over the next five days, you don't need to do anything. If you're currently a senior citizen uh, and you have Medi Medicare or you're currently enrolled in Medicaid, uh, you don't need to do anything. But for those of us uh, that are seeking coverage that don't have health coverage, uh, you need to go to getcoveredillinois.gov today um, and get take that first step to getting the coverage that is uh, the law. Uh, but it's also a really strong benefit for your health, wellness, um, and for your family as well. Okay. And I'm going to show... Real quick, that website again is getcoveredillinois.gov. We'll show that website in just a second, but let me ask you before we go there. Now, what about if, 
let's say you have somebody in your household who's just stubborn, who doesn't want to get any kind of coverage. Um, you know, you've, you've been coming across a number of different types of populations across Illinois throughout your work here. Um, how, do you, how do you try to gear this uh, message so that you can explain to people this is in their, their best interest to try to focus on getting health care coverage? Right. So I think the, the, the one thing that we've been very successful in doing is, is talking about what the benefits of health coverage really mean. And I think, um, you know, people tend to focus atmospherically on what mm -hmm. the penalty is or the, or the personal responsibility provision. Uh, but throughout this campaign, we've been trying to engage consumers where they are and what's most important to them. One, uh, that this coverage is affordable. One of the mm -hmm. larger barriers to actually people having coverage is not that they don't want to have that coverage. Mm -hmm. It's they believe that they can't afford it. So through the Affordable Care Act and through GetCoveredIllinois.gov, uh, we can start working you through the process to find out uh, that you may be, in fact be eligible for a premium tax credit to offset the cost of that health care coverage or maybe eligible for a uh, cost sharing reduction um, to offset the cost of that. So that we're trying to break that barrier down as well. But having real conversations about what health and wellness means to you, mm -hmm. um, that you can finally start uh, seeing a real checkup and, and not self-diagnose yourself. Go see a doctor mm -hmm. to prevent health care from actually getting worse over time, uh, but also having conversations that you'll never have to worry about going bankrupt mm -hmm. because you or your family uh, got sick. So these have been consistent messages that we've been giving throughout this process and mm -hmm. we're trying to, to drill home over these last five days. And, uh, you know, we're throwing a lot of information out at all of our viewers here. And it might feel like we're, you know, we're, we're anxious. We've got a lot to say. We've got a lot to go through. But the clock is really ticking here. Um, you have until Monday. Now, this, this started back in October. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's gone all through the winter. People have heard, heard about the Affordable Care Act mm -hmm. even before it started. And um, the, in truth, the marketplace is only going to be open for a little while longer. Now, um, Throughout the summer, people can also try to research this and everything, but they're, they're, it, the window closes on March 31st and doesn't open again till later in the year for the next round of sign-up. That is correct. So people need to know a couple of things. Uh, this March 31st is, a, is in fact a real uh, deadline. There are opportunities for special populations uh, to um, enroll. So if you've got a change of life event, uh, you get married, you lose your job, you have a birth of a child, uh, you can go to the marketplace and get those those private health care plans. Mm -hmm. Secondarily, uh, the, the Medicaid enrollment does not end. So if it's determined that you don't have coverage but you're Medicaid eligible, um, you can do that any time. But for those folks who are marketplace eligible uh, that choose for whatever reason not to enroll by March 31st, uh, the window for you to actually have coverage mm -hmm. closes until January 1, 2015. Now, you can enroll starting in November 15th, but that coverage for you will not begin until um, January 1 of 2015. So okay. not only are you opening yourself up to the risk of, of the penalty with $95 or 1% of your income, right. whatever is greater, but you're really exposing yourself and your family members to uh, whatever may happen by not having a health care coverage. So mm -hmm. that's the message we're trying to drive. You never know when that hand of fate is going to, you know, you, you never know when you're going to be riding the CTA train at 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, and you know you're on your way to the airport. You, these are obviously these not, to, happen, not meant yeah. to be glib, but but these are moments that that are yep. that are topical, um, and you never really know when this happens. So do the right things. Enroll mm -hmm. today. There's five days left. Get coveredillinois.gov is that first step. Okay. And just a reminder today, we're talking with Brian Gorman, the director of outreach for Get Covered Illinois, Office of the Governor. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump over to Get Covered Illinois, the website here, and we're going to show live right now and uh, now there's a lot of things that you can see on the website here I'm gonna go ahead and highlight with the cursor here some of these drop-down menus so you can go there right now and basically find out some information about how to explore the coverage options uh, things that you can read about to stay informed obviously the countdown is coming so you can go right to underneath get answers you have a nice uh, frequently asked questions section here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and show you all of these different questions that, if anybody has, are basically already highlighted on the page with drop-down answers ready for you. So it's a very fantastic website for going and getting your basic information. 
And um, I'm sure, and there it is, five days. Yeah. See, the website's live. It's reminding you right now, so five days left. Steve, if I may take some liberties here. If, mm -hmm. you, if you notice in the lower right-hand corner, there's the white box that says get help in your area. Yes. For a lot of people that, that need to, to take action over these next five days, uh, that's a place where folks want to go. So our, our call center hours are there, uh, but you can just enter your zip code mm -hmm. uh, into that box right there uh, within 5, 10, 20, 50 miles. Find an enrollment event that's taking place uh, over the next five days in your area. So um, I want to remind everybody that I know this may be a change for some folks, but there is help available in your area. Mm -hmm. Now we have a call submitted, uh, a, a question submitted by one of our callers here. So let's go ahead and take a second here. If you get a bronze level plan, will you have a ten thousand dollar deductible so that the deductible and the the rates vary from plan to plan mm -hmm. um i think what the caller is it's important element that there's a number of different options for the consumer if they are eligible for a marketplace plan um so the bronze level plan uh, you may have a lower premium each month but your out-of-pocket costs if you use that health care will be a little higher. Uh, if you go with a, a silver or gold or a platinum plan, you may actually lower mm -hmm. or raise the cost of your monthly premiums, but when you're using that healthcare, that may be different. So that's why I think there's a lot of questions about what is in these plans and what they mean, and so it's why it's important that you need to sit with a navigator, go through that process, and find out what's best for you, your family, and your small business, because there really is no one size fits all for this. And take the time, make a decision that works best for you. Yeah. And uh, just a reminder, here's the phone number and website. Now, they have the gold, silver, and bronze plans. That phone number is a great way to start finding, it, finding out information about what those plans mean. Uh, and be sure to call it as soon as you can. It will have extended hours. Uh, you were saying that this weekend, that that number right there, your call center? That call center is open yeah. till midnight, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, tonight and uh, Thursday and Friday will be open until 10 p.m. Um, so from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. until midnight over the weekend, you can get your questions answered. You can find that help that's in your community um, mm -hmm. and start having those really important questions that the caller just asked about what is the bronze level plan. Maybe maybe I might want to, to enroll in a uh, silver plan so I can get those cost sharing reductions. And these are questions that we, you really need to, to dig in there uh, mm -hmm. and get the answers from yourself. And uh, Brian, we have another caller coming in here. I guess we're, we're lighting a fire here for people. Hello, caller. What's your question for the show? Hi. I wanted to know if you live in a kind of an untraditional um, way, like you have a roommate, some of the questions I ask about people in your household, sure. can you just answer the questions for yourself as if it's just you? Right. Or do you need to... Um, Know, talk to your roommate as well. Right. Good point. Yeah. Right. So you, you are not responsible for um, the the healthcare coverage of your roommate, and you shouldn't aggregate your your income based upon what your roommate has. I think the best way to think about uh, your household income is to frame it around what you would be filing uh, on your taxes at the end of the year. So if you file as an individual, um, then you know you don't have to take your roommate into account. But obviously, mm -hmm. if that roommate is a dependent or uh, a family member or a spouse, uh, that may change that dynamic. But again, um, it's a very good question. Uh, but I would encourage everybody to take the time and walk through. These are very important questions that, that navigators who are free of charge, I want to make that clear, navigator assistance is free of charge to consumers. Uh, take your time, uh, talk with them, and they can work through these processes for you. That's great. Now, now before the show, we were talking about <clears throat> some of the things that people might fall into trouble, um, you know, if they don't have health care coverage. Uh, how, how much trouble can somebody get in financially if they don't have some kind of health care uh, around them in case something, like you said, that CTA accident that mm -hmm. just happened early in the week, um, is, there some, is there some way that somebody can really uh, get financially hurt as opposed to getting physically hurt from not having health care? Yeah, and so we know a couple things. Um, the number one driver of personal bankruptcy in the United States of America uh, our health care costs, where someone, for some whatever reason, uh, has a family member, gets sick, gets into an accident, and without coverage, you'll see the, those bills skyrocket. Um, and uh, also, the greatest percentage of those people that actually face bankruptcy mm -hmm. actually had insurance, uh, or they thought they had insurance, uh, and turns out the insurance they had uh, was junk, and it didn't cover things like ambulatory services, hospitalization, mm -hmm. uh, maternal care. So we can rest assured that any plan that you purchase on 
uh, Get Covered Illinois or healthcare.gov contains what we call 10 essential health benefits. So those really quality coverage elements are part of it, like hospitalization, like mental health and and, um, substance abuse, uh, prescription drugs, maternal care. These are all included. So people can rest assured that you'll never face, um, you know, the, 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 the crippling bills that can essentially ruin uh, f- economic futures for, for families. So it's very important that people understand that, that they need to get coverage, not just for health and wellness, and we all understand why it's important to see your doctor and, and get treated before you get sick, but also you're, you're reducing the, the risk of financial ruin for you and your family. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brian, I feel like we're on the same wavelength. I have the perfect slide to go to now to highlight some of the things that you just mentioned. So signing up for the Affordable Care Act, You have 10 essential health benefits, and I have this little graphic here that I use for each show. Uh, Just to run through them again real quick, we have prescription drugs, rehabilitative services, emergency services, maternity and newborn care, preventative and wellness services, pediatric services for dental and vision, uh, mental health and substance abuse services, hospital visits, ambulatory care, and then laboratory services. So if you sign up for the Affordable Care Act or if you have coverage, like you said, through your through your uh, employment or through Medicare or Medicaid, that's this is across the board now. This is part of the Affordable Care Act that you have these essential benefits. That's what makes them essential. Yeah. Um, and that's a really important part that people really for the longest time, even if they had insurance, uh, they didn't use it properly. They knew mm-hmm. that the deductibles were going to be so astronomical they weren't going to make it affordable. So mm-hmm. right now, consumers have a choice. They can pay a little more each month and have lower out-of-pocket costs, or they can choose to have lower premiums, uh, maybe a catastrophic plan, a bronze-level plan, mm-hmm. um, but they may risk a little bit higher in out-of-pocket costs. So these are consumers, you know, we talk about having choice. There's plenty of choice here in Illinois for the number of plans. That, that, that they have available to them. Um, but also I want to make clear that these essential health benefits are also part of um, you know, the, the, the Medicaid coverage plans that are available for those folks who, who qualify as well. Yeah. So you, you touch on a good point because I think that over the last however many years people have been turned off about health care because maybe they would get this but not get this or they think they have this but really it doesn't apply to them unless this situation. It's been so confusing. And um, obviously, we're today we're talking about how March 31st is the actual deadline for signing up for this. Back on the website here, I want to. The website is uh, up here in your drop-down menu of Get Answers. Uh, you have at the very bottom here glossary. Uh, one of the things that I also found in talking to people about healthcare was they just un- didn't understand the terminology. So this is kind of a good place to go. Like for instance, copay. You can just kind of get a quick little description of exactly what copay means. Uh, you know, and people who have had health care, they're familiar with these terms, but if you're just signing up, this is confusing. Indeed. Um, and so education is a big part of what we're doing. My full title is the Director of Outreach and Consumer Education. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know that this is a dramatic sea change. This is the largest expansion of health access in our state's history. We know a lot of people um, are coming at this from different education levels. I know that all of us, no matter what, we've started a, a job, uh, they give you that, that packet and, yeah. and you want to know what's in there. And regardless of if you have a PhD from uh, MIT, uh, we're all a little unsure on what that means and that's understandable. And so yeah. we want to give every consumer uh, who's maybe been, been had health care coverage but are coming off copay uh, the confidence to say, okay, this, this is what it all means, or some Someone that's never had health coverage in their life and they've been waiting for this moment uh, to get that coverage, we want to provide that support and education for them. That's vitally important. And um, before we were talking, you know, the big deadline is Monday. Now, <coughs> people have been, some people have been waiting to the last minute. It's kind of like when you file your taxes, mm-hmm. you know, you, you, you kind of procrastinate and put it off and put it off. Mm-hmm. And here we are, and this date now is five days away. Sure. Um, can you talk a little bit about, are you seeing the trends show that people are starting to pick up the steam now and look into this? Yeah, we always believe that, that, that eventually in this last month that it would be robust, people would be um, you know, signing up. And that's why what we're seeing extended hours in our call center. We're seeing extended midnight hours for our navigator groups right here in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, if you want to come to the University of Illinois Chicago Hospital, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, you can see a navigator uh, right up until midnight. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can go to Ann Sather's on the north side. We're going to be partnering with them to have navigators available. Uh, but over the last three weeks, we've seen traffic to our website double 
and double again. Um, and so we've seen our call center volume actually double from what our previous highs were. So people are starting to pay attention. I don't mm -hmm. think it's inappropriate to analogize um, you know, the, the filing of the taxes, which reminds me it's something I still need to get done myself. Um, but people are starting to pay attention. And so it's important yeah. for us as a state that we avail ourselves of that support, that educational opportunities, and those moments where, where consumers who have a lot of questions uh, can get that assistance. But again, I want to remind everybody who's listening at home that March 31st is that deadline. You need to demonstrate that you've done everything that you possibly could uh, to enroll through no fault of your own uh, mm -hmm. in order to take advantage of, of any uh, posted special enrollment periods. Yeah, and that brings us back to the news. Um, so March 31st, now there's there's been talk of some extended deadlines. Really, it's still March 31st, but the point is is that you have to be part of the process. Correct, you have to be March in line. So it, uh, the, the guidance from... Um, uh, HHS today, I think, is apropos. It's like being in line on election day. If the polls close okay. and you're waiting in line, uh, you're still eligible to vote. The same way we're um, talking about this experience on on if you're if you've in line trying to enroll by 11 p.m. Central Time or 10:59 Central Time Monday, March 31st, you're in line, and we're going to do everything to, we can to make sure that you can select a qualified health care plan. But you just can't come wandering in off the street next Tuesday or Wednesday saying, hey, I, I, I missed a deadline. you got to get in line. you got to take action today. Go to getcoveredillinois.gov, mm -hmm. call our help desk, take that first step. And let's go back to the website while you say that. So there it is right now, five days left. There's your big bus. You guys have been getting out across the whole state trying to get the word out. So that's that's been... our covered wagon, as we call it affectionately. <laughs> so we've been traveling uh, the the state of Illinois, uh, going from town to town, trying to in engage with, with local populations, uh, highlighting our website, but more or less highlighting that consumer assistance that's available. Mm -hmm. um, so people, again, feel unsure about what this all means for them, and I don't know how they're about doing it, that's okay. We all have questions. Mm -hmm. We want everybody to know that the assistance for you is free and it's right in your community. So you don't have to necessarily come downtown or, or get a, get on the train to go too far. Uh, typically, if you go to Get Covered Illinois, type in your zip code. Mm -hmm. I guarantee within a few miles there will be an enrollment opportunity in your area. Now, let me show you real quick because we were talking about that before. I'm going to go back to the website. I'm going to go down into this little corner here where it says Get Help in Your Area. Now, Can TV, we are in the zip code 6... 0607. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in, 60607, and I'm going to do a quick search. And it will show us. It's 100, 107 navigators within five miles of this office. So here we go, 107, because they're right here, within five miles. So and you've got a map, and you can click on that and find out what those organizations are. So Yeah, here's a list right here of the different groups around here, Safer Foundation, Perg Education Fund. So that's, I mean, it's as easy as that. That's right on the main page. And then also on the main page, you have this green section here where you can, you can click and actually start the process uh, by simply answering a few questions. And like we were talking before, do you sign up for yourself or yourself and someone else? So this is this website is really, really a good way to get everything started. But of course, you can find events around you in case you do want to talk to somebody in person. Because some of us just prefer to actually sit down and have somebody help uh, help guide us through the process. Right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and remind everybody one more time because we're in our last minute here. March 31st is the big date. That is Monday next week. And if you want to get more information about this. GetCoveredIllinois.gov is a good website to go to. And, of course, the phone number is 866-311-1119. In our last minute here, Brian, do you have any any last thoughts you want to leave with everybody? No, I, I think that we are, you know, we have five days left, and then there's been a lot of discussion about what Get Covered Illinois is and what the Affordable Care Act means. Um, but for you and your family and the small business, this is a unique opportunity uh, to protect yourself against, obviously, the misfortune that may befall you if you don't have coverage. Uh, but secondarily, that it's, uh, there's affordability and there is help available in your community. So don't delay. Enroll today. March 31st is that deadline. Take advantage of it. Um, and there's free help to help you enroll in your community. Okay. And thanks again to Brian Gorman, Director of Outreach and Community Services for Get Covered Illinois office of the governor brian thank you so much for taking the time okay steve thanks so much for having me it's, i appreciate it sure it's a busy weekend so make sure you uh, get on getcoveredillinois.gov 
And uh, thanks to Sylvia for manning the phones. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back with another episode right after this of, of uh, Understanding Healthcare here at CAN-TV. And uh, good luck, everybody, signing up this weekend.